I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today we're going to be making the Samaria Leah inspired lace-up jeans. And these are the materials that you're going to need. This is a very easy DIY, but it has a lot of steps. So just follow along with me and if you have any questions by the end of this video make sure that you leave them in the comments and i'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability but let's get right into it so the first step is to create guidelines these guidelines will show us where we need to cut and where we need to sew once we're all finished so the first two guide points i'm making are one inch apart from that little triangle area of the jeans if you don't have this part of on your jeans i would just say use the midpoint of the pocket and it'll be the same i've made two points one inch away from each other in the middle and i'm also going to make a middle point at the top and then we're going to create lines to show us where we'll be cutting so now all you have to do is connect the points but there's a trick to this do not connect the point at the top only go to the side of that point so as you can see it's a little space in between where i actually started at the top so you want to leave a little space on the side of that point don't actually touch the point Now I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the next side, and I'm just using my ruler to make sure everything is centered and aligned. Now that we have our guidelines drawn, it's time to cut. So you're gonna cut straight down the middle of both sides until you get to the end of your points. And you want to cut slits at the bottom of these points, if that makes sense. I'm about to show you guys right here what I mean. So you just want to slit it at the bottom so that you're able to fold it in and place your eyelids. Now that we have everything cut, we're just going to fold onto our guidelines and this is where we will pin and sew. You can choose to hand sew or you can use your machine. If you do use your machine, I do want to make sure that you are using a denim, denim needle so that it will go through the denim easily without um, breaking your needle. And it's pretty difficult. If you are sewing on the machine, I do suggest that you go very, very slow. So if you're not sure about that, I do suggest just sewing by hand. It's gonna take a lot more time, but at least you'll still have your machine if you're not too comfortable with that. So 
So depending on your brand of jeans that you're using, they might have a label like this in the back. So I would just suggest cutting off the excess of that label so that it won't be in your way. Now that everything is all pinned down, this is where you will be sewing. You will be sewing on both sides all the way around. And I also chose to sew at that little bottom area as well. So I just sew all the way in a U shape and you can do the same. Always remember once again to end and begin with a back stitch. And with this denim, you might need a few forward and backward stitches. And do remember that I said, if you're using your machine, please go slow and take your time because you do not want to break your needle or jam your sewing machine somehow. So just take your time, go slowly. Also, I want to mention that I am using a very tight zigzag stitch on the edge of the jeans. So you'll see in this next clip what I mean about that edge of the jeans. Once it's all done, this is what it should look like on both sides. I use a tan thread that's in the jeans. You can use blue, whatever is your flavor, sis. Now we're down to our very last step. And the very last step is to add your eyelets. Y'all, this took the most time, but it was worth it in the end. So we're using a half inch eyelet and you wanna just mark out your spots. Mark out where you want each eyelet to be all the way around the U shape. And I think I did about five or six on both sides. Once you're done marking, this is what it should look like. As you can see, I have five points on each side. So that means I'll have 20 eyelets in all. So when inserting your eyelids, you want to just cut a hole where you marked your X. Just create a hole big enough, not too big, to insert your eyelid. And you want to insert the big part of your eyelid, the part that will be showing. And you want to add the cap onto the eyelid on the back. I'm about to show you guys exactly what I mean here. So I'm just inserting my large eyelid, the part that will be seen. Then I'm going to add the backing of the eyelid. I don't really know the terminology, but I'm going to add the back. I'm going to take this steel part that came with my kit, and we're just going to hammer it down in order to close the eyelid or lock the eyelid in. And you want to use some type of wood to hammer on just so you don't ruin your floors or make too much noise. So I decided to use a wooden cutting board. You can use something like that or anything, any scrap wood you have. So I'm just gonna show you guys that process again before we move on. Once again, I'm inserting the bigger part of the eyelet, the part that will be seen, and I'm adding the cap onto the back of the eyelet. Then I'm using the steel bar and a hammer, just hammering that down just to lock in that eyelet. You wanna make sure that you add your eyelet to each X you've made on your pair of jeans all the way around. In the end, this is what it should look like. And now you can just add any laces that you would like, add rope, whatever you would like. I decided to add shoelaces and I made mine pink and orange because I wanted to match it with something else that I had. You could do whatever you like, sis, whatever is your flavor, okay? That's all I have for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And may your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.